For more, we're joined by retired Baltimore Deputy Police Commissioner and former Chief of Investigations for the San Francisco District Attorney's Office, Jerry Rodriguez. Jerry, good morning. Good morning, sir. Thank you for having me. Uh, Mr. Rodriguez, thank you for joining us this morning. I know that it's a busy day for you as well because you've been speaking with your contacts, but you've worked a number of demonstrations, both planned or spontaneous, during your 35-year career, including when you worked in Los Angeles during the O.J. Simpson trial and Rodney King riots. What's the top priority for law enforcement during these kinds of powder keg situations? Yes, sir. Uh, so this one's a little different in the fact that we have a national uh, event going on right now. And there's a lot of emotions going on. This isn't just a, a regular demonstration. So while we'll law enforcement nationally will work diligently to make sure that both sides are given a platform to you know, express their First Amendment rights. We will not tolerate abuse, violence, crime of any kind. And that's really what we are going uh, out for today. We want to show a uh, maximum deployment, high visibility, but there's layers to this. There is also a potential for violence. There is also a potential for uh, terrorism, and we need to be vigilant. Yeah, when Diligent. you're using language, Mr. Rodriguez, when they're using language like uh, a global day of jihad, jihad in and of itself means uh, attacking anyone who's an enemy of Islam. So that in and of itself is inflammatory. So emotions will be running high during these events across the country. What kind of planning does law enforcement do to make sure everyone stays safe and nothing gets out of hand? That is a great question. We train for moments like this all the time. We have plans in place. We understand which are our most sensitive infrastructures. We will deploy our personnel there. We will deploy first responders to make sure that we facilitate the demonstrations in a peaceful manner. We will try to identify the leaders of each group and make sure that we communicate with them and that our goal is to facilitate uh, their demonstration. We also have units on standby that will come in and handle crowd control, crowd management, should it go uh, a different way. And we have resources that are standing by that are well equipped to do just that. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.